Howard Marks has passed away. After a long illness, he lost his battle with cancer. One of his last public appearances was in Amsterdam during the Cannabis Culture Awards. He received an award due to his campaigning for the legalization of cannabis. Marx spent seven years in a high security prison in the United States, which changed his life. I think I emerged a far better person as a result of my prison sentence than, than the person who went in. Well, could you elaborate on that? Yes, of course. I, I just learned to, I suppose, look after people less fortunate than myself. And I think there's a certain spirituality and strength in doing that. I right. learned to help people. I learned to care about people. Yeah. Before I was just, you know, making money, smuggling, and living the high life, you know. I, I felt it, it did me a lot of good. As a writer, he traveled the world telling his story, one that involved him with the Mafia, the Palestine Liberation Organization, the IRA, and the security services on both sides of the Atlantic. I was really just involved in smuggling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, now I've become interested in growing, but, but uh, I, I smuggled, you know, from where it was to where it wasn't. <laughs> I became quite a big dealer, quite, quite big and quite a big smuggler, so I lost touch with the streets quite a lot. And sort of dealt with the mafia and kind of every criminal organization in the world. And uh, when I came out of prison and wrote my book, I was very, very surprised as to the prevalence of smoking marijuana and to the prevalence of, I mean, when I was a when I was young, it was almost a, a, a privilege of middle-class academics, really, to be smoking marijuana. And now the postman smokes it, the plumber smokes it, everyone smokes it. The main message to tell the world is to, I suppose, increase awareness and to take care of other people. I think that's it.